Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a while, but uh, I'm excited to show you some progression that I've had in Unity and show you some of the art pieces that Defco has been working on. Um, just just a little forewarning, uh, nothing that we're actually going to be using in our game is going to be demoed today. Uh, we're just showing um, basically the way that we're creating our level designing system. Um, and uh, how we're optimizing our game so we can get as much going on the screen as possible. Uh, if you don't exactly know what optimization is, the nutshell is creating your game in a way that allows you to do as much as you can on screen without worrying about what's going on off the screen. So the, this is the way we've done it. Here's scene view, here's game view. Um, you can go over here and once we cross into area two, you see area three is spawned. You see that on the left here? Pay close attention, when we cross over to area 3, which is here, when we cross over into that area, watch what happens. Area 1 disappears, area 4 spawns, okay? So now we're going to go into area 4. What ha what's happening there is there's a little ledge there that you can grab, and uh, we're not showing the animation for that right now, but what happens is he grabs a ledge and then climbs up the ledge. So, um, you see there, we're in area 4 now. When we cross back over into area 3, you will see area one appear and then area four disappear because we're in two and then when we're in one area three disappears so this is going to do a lot for us because we're not using memory to tell the computer what's happening in these other areas that we don't even see because of that we can use all that memory to make like cool explosions and bullets flying everywhere we can do as much as we want on the screen within reason, without worrying about how well the game is going to run. And uh, that's that's really sweet, but it's also going to do a couple other things for us. Let's say we're working on, um, in, in a long, maybe a, if you, let's say you're doing just basic levels, right? And this is level one, and at the end you do this boss fight. Well, in order to test the boss fight, I don't really want to have to play through all of these levels in order to test it. So what you could do is you could maybe let's let's say you have it down here in area one two three four and then areas five through like ten or something let's say you grab area ten in this case we're gonna grab area four it's way at the end you grab it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop area four into the world okay and we're just gonna take a look at it what does it look like right now there's this there's this big podium here okay there is uh, there's a couple a couple small blocks but let's say uh, this let's say this small block here uh, we don't really like where that small block is, or, or you know what, maybe we do like that there's a small block, but we want it over here, okay? And we actually want to add, uh, in our level objects here, we want to add maybe a, a taller podium. Um, uh, let's see, maybe maybe one of these ones, maybe the one with the root on it, okay? And uh, let's see, we'll, we'll put it down, we'll make sure that it goes into area 4, so you just make it a child of area 4, you go 0, 0, and then we'll leave it at negative five sure you drop it down and you want to make sure that your asset looks how you want it to okay and that's that's good enough for now okay and uh, we want to also make sure that all of our that we're covering where we need to cover <clears throat> we're gonna put it at zero Okay, um, and then we'll pull our stump out a little bit. Oh, whoops, that's not our stump. Our podium sprite, we'll pull that out a little bit, and we'll put, oh, this is the stump. We'll actually pull the stump back out. Okay, so that that's that's good. Let's say we add that. We'll move uh, this second block over a little bit more, and we want to actually delete this thing here um, what is this? This is our uh, ledge. So these little white things are just ledges that you can grab. Um, we'll delete that and we want to actually make a gap here. So we're going to duplicate the ground. We're going to zoom in on the ground to make this a little easier. And we actually want to make a gap in the ground here. So we grab this and now there's a little gap that you have to clear when you jump. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we grab all of area 4 we go back to our areas and we just replace area 4. Now we delete area 4 here. Make sure that it carried over its code. Its previous area is area 3. Area 3's pre next area is area 4. Previous area is area 2. 
we're gonna hit play and now let's see what happened we're gonna watch uh, the left screen primarily um, just because I want to show you what's happening okay that's area three area three and now area four will show up here in just a moment and we can see what it looks like bam area four it shows all of our new uh, our, our new additions to it okay you see it has a hole here a gap here see we're in area four now and you can see in area four uh, there's there's no area two or area one so we're saving all that memory and I don't think you can actually clear this gap oh you can you can barely grab the ledge oh but then you keep walking okay yeah and that one is just doesn't really have any code in it this is just our final little edge here but uh, yeah so anyway uh, that's what we have so far and um, this again is, is not to demo our game because we're not even showing you the character uh, or anything we're gonna we're gonna keep that under wraps for now but this is just to show you that we are taking this pretty serious we're taking these things into consideration because when you guys play the game we want to make sure you have a full experience on screen if we were not doing this we would be very very limited in how much we can slam on that screen we want crazy things going on we want it to be uh, to be fun and we want to be able to demonstrate to you guys with Defco's artistic ability that uh, there, there's something worth being on the screen and, and to, to save that to save uh, memory for whatever we want on the screen is super important to us so anyway I hope you guys like it. Um, I hope you uh, are excited about Defco and I working on this game. Uh, we're excited about uh, working on it and uh, and showing you guys what we're capable of um, with Unity. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, come hang out with us on Twitter. And feel free to ask questions about what we're working on. Not sure we'll share too much right now, but we are excited about it. Thanks a lot, guys.